for relaxing times, make it Centauri time. Got my Peppa Pig bubbles. <laughs> you went on your thing. Did it look cool? Yeah, it did look cool. Sick. Today, we're outside, we're barbecuing. It's great, it's absolutely boiling, it's so hot, um, and it's very uncomfortable, but we've got some amazing burgers, so let's jump right in. So I'm not gonna be making my own burger meat, I'm just gonna be using Naked Glory, classic. Always the best meat, just use that. It's better than any other fake meat out there. Um, we've got some bacon, because my burger is good without bacon. Two cheeses. We've got some cheese, and then we've got some Via Life cheddar there. Tomatoes and diced onion, classic, some lettuce, mustard, ketchup, pickles, and some homemade pretzel buns. If you want to know how I made these, first video on the channel, it will be over here. It'll be over there, so watch that. So yeah, let's jump into it. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so first things first, for our double cheese stuffed bacon jalapeno burgers, that's a mouthful. Um, I'm just gonna oil these up and then throw these on the old barbie. I'm missing my little, my little thing, I forgot it. Look at that. Just kind of throw that on. This is on like half heat. Eh, I might do it more actually. We'll put it on max and then we're just gonna let those roast away and then we can get started on the, on the little mixture to go inside. Okay, so whilst our jalapenos are roasting away in there, we're gonna just fry up some bacon quickly. I'm using this isn't bacon. It is bacon, but <laughs> I think it's the best vegan bacon out there by an absolute landslide. So I very much recommend that. We're using Will's barbecue for this. He's got a garden and a barbecue. Oh yeah, so we're just gonna cook that bacon up until it's done, roast the jalapenos, and then go from there. Jalapenos are looking great. I was looking for some jalapeno sauce earlier and this guy kept calling them jalapenos. They really annoyed me. I don't know why people would say that. So they're uh, good. Just going to switch them over and just let them go till they're done. Whilst our jalapenos and bacon are just finishing up, we get our burgers ready, cut them in half, and then I kind of reshape them. I roll them into little balls and set them aside. And then we can stuff them, put the little bits inside, grill them up. Switch the old bacon off, jalapenos. They're nice and roasted. Pop that back down, let that heat up. I don't know how hot this is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're not gonna use all the bacon. We're probably gonna use two rashers for inside and then we're probably gonna put maybe one or two more on top. So we're just gonna take our two little bits of bacon and mince that up. That's pretty good. Add that to our bowl. Dice up our jalapenos. Now, so with dicing the jalapenos, you can de-seed them if you want, if, you, if you're not so into spice. Um, I'm a big boy for spice. Go for a funny story. There's a chili festival every year at yeah, West Dean. A couple years back, we went there and I'm stupid and I like to think I'm hard, so I'd go and check, check. I go and try every chili, even if it's like the hottest, hottest one there. And we went to this one tent and it was the hottest chili sauce in the world. And my mum thought she was top banter lad, <laughs> gave me a cracker and scooped a big, like a, Quite like maybe like a quarter teaspoon. You should never have that. That's like a quarter teaspoon for like a massive pot of food. And I had that and I vomited everywhere. <laughs> it was awful. What I did is I didn't like keep it in my mouth. I swallowed it so it went straight to my stomach and it, it ruined me. Absolutely ruined me. That was a terrible feeling. I didn't like my lesson. I tried all the other ones too, but I'm fine. Anyway, back to, back to this. I'm gonna get some of our cream cheese and because it's absolutely sweltering out, it's melted pretty much. I don't have a spoon here either, so I'm just gonna have to use a knife. <laughs> There's a wasp terrorizing Will over there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Will, you're so funny, mate. Just to watch. Not like humorous, but just... Oh, do you wanna smell that? Mm. So that's that, that's, that's our, our mixture for our stuffed burgers. So let's get our patties and kind of press them down a bit. Get half of this. Put that in there. What nonce is flying a plane? <laughs> Where are they? Oh, there. Fuck you. Bastard. I'm um, gonna get our other burger patty. 
flatten that out and then kind of try and tuck this in and try and seal it. What you said when you had your tummy tuck? What? When you had your tummy tuck. <laughs> Mate, if I had my tummy tuck and I look like this, I'd get a, I'd get a refund. Well, there's meat yet, because I think it's so hot, it's harder to like ply with, play with, like kind yeah. of less, less pliable. Let's hope they don't just fucking <laughs> fall apart. I've done this quite a lot, and I've never seen it like this before. So I guess chill your meat is my thing. I wonder if a wet hand would help. I mean, I think that's good enough, do you think? Ah, it's pretty decent. Honestly, it's way easier than this, if you chill it. It's chilled. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I mean, there's our burgers, done. Um, if you're at home, try and chill your burgers, because apparently if it's 30 degrees out, the, the properties and the structure of it changes a lot. So let's get these bad boys on the grill. All right, grill's nice and hot. Burgers, ready to go. And we're just gonna whack those. Look at that sound. Beautiful, that looks good. And then we're just gonna close it and then get our bubbles. Let's have a jolly old time, innit? All right, these are looking pretty good to flip. Looking nice. It smells wonderful. I didn't grease the bottom bit, so it's a bit, so it has stuck a little bit, but it's fine. We're cooking, it's got good food, good vibes. I'll wipe this back down and go for a few more minutes. All right, so now we've just got the accoutrements, I think that's how you say it, of the burger. So I'm gonna dice up brown onion, yellow onion, white onion. You know how to do this, I think. Probably better than I do. Got any more fantastic jokes, Will? <laughs> oh, it's been a bit dry. That's good. You haven't went to bed in a while then. Um, I'm just gonna finally dice these like a bit more, just gonna go through them. Because we're gonna use some for our burger sauce. So that has to be very fine. Because he can be bothered to do it. It's good enough. That's pretty good. So we're gonna take some of this, about that much. Like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Some mayo. I'm using Hellman's. I always use Hellman's. That's cute. Did you get that from 2000? Yeah. It's cute. Did you? What happened? <laughs> and same amount of ketchup in there. A little bit of mustard. American. Don't use like English or Dijon or whatever. So we've got two pickles. Dice these up. What am I using? Who is it? Mrs. Elwood. It's <laughs> not very nice, is it? You like pickles? Scum, mate. Add that in. Give it a little mix. There you go. Lovely little burger sauce. Speaking of burgers, let's get our burgers out before we burn them. All right, burgers are looking pretty decent. Put them on this handy dandy little shelf thing. And then we're just gonna pop our buns on there as well. Just a, just a little toasty toast. A little cut. Oh mate, look how melted this butter is. Oh my God. It's so melted. Forget the butter, because the butter, <laughs> butter's ruined a bit. You know what, we're gonna some, put some of our burger sauce on, you know? When you're in the kitchen, you've got to work with, or work against all the problems. It's like very much like filmmaking. It's like nothing will happen how you're expecting it to. So you just got to roll with the punches and just go with it. And put these on there. And this heat's a very low heat. We don't need to cook it, so we just need to toast it. Who is, is this? <laughs> He's back. So whilst our burgers are just sitting at top and just staying warm, we'll add some, Little slices of cheese. Um, it doesn't taste like cheese, I'll tell you that much, mate. It's like, it's, it really doesn't taste that much. But it's unoffensive, because some of them are very out there with the, I might actually just close that just to steam that cheese up. Cheese is doing its business. Tomatoes, thinly sliced. And a little bit less. Just gonna roughly chop this. Go for a couple pickles, because a burger is not a burger. Yeah, some pickles. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they could actually be a bit more, to be honest with you. I mean, and that cheese is, is borderline melted anyways before I even got involved with it. So that's why I got the bubbles, man. 
Also, look, right, so, so no, I want, to show, I want to show you, I want to show everyone at home. So there's these bubbles, and they're obviously kids' bubbles, they're Peppa Pig, they're Peppa Pig bubbles. And it's got like this little ball thing, and, and it looks deceptively, I get this off. So it looks deceptively easy, doesn't it? Oh, where do you start? You start like there, right? But then if you, it's like not big enough, so, it, so it's a bit hard, and then you get it off track, and it's quite difficult, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's melted enough, that looks pretty decent. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a bit burnt. <laughs> that's a bit burnt. <laughs> Put the heat too high. And let's just dress our burgers up. Um, but I would so pay to see like the outtakes of like other food channels for me, because there's no way that, or am I just terrible at cooking? <laughs> and then whenever I use left, or whenever I have lettuce and onions on a burger, I never, I always put them on first, because if you put them on after, like after the burger, they just fall off everywhere. Some lettuce. A little bits of onion, get our burger, Zzz. some pickle, and a wasp. Oh, off. Some bacon as well, I can't forget the bacon. That looks monstrous. I bloody hate toothpick holes because you can't get them out. It's really difficult. Oh, it fell over. I didn't even see it fall over. Oh, yeah. Well, it is fresh, man. I just made it. Let's hope it stays together, eh? For the kids, at least. We'll push through. Oh, it fell. But, quick. Oh, shit. Surgery. Okay, let's quickly have a go at this before this just all falls apart. Use bigger buns, though. <laughs> And it's just so good. That's so good. Oh shit. I've probably got stuff all over my head. I genuinely think that's the best thing we've <laughs> Thank you very much for watching our first outside video, barbecuing. Great fun. Very, <laughs> very sketchy. The leg fell off. We've got a big umbrella there, but we powered through to bring this through to you. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, a like would be massively appreciated. Or if you want to subscribe, again, please do. If you want to comment anything down below, comment. it's great to, to hear what you guys think. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, links all down below. It's all at Bailey Manuki and all. So yeah, thank you very much and hope to see you guys next time. Cheers. Peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh man, that's great. That is good. That is genuinely